Data packs, Minecraft 1.19.3. Let's get them installed. So first things first, you're gonna need to download a data pack. Now you may already have one, but I'm guessing you might want some others. So in the description down below, we have this list of the best data packs for Minecraft. It's a list of, as you can see, I believe like a bit of 10 or so data packs that are really good. And what's great is they're all working on the newest version of Minecraft. Now in this specific video, we're gonna install vanilla tweaks. Well, at least a few of the vanilla tweaks. You'll see more about what I mean in the second, but let's go ahead and click on the green download button here. We're also gonna go ahead and grab all the mob heads because I think it's a pretty cool data pack. From there, we can move over to Vanilla Tweaks, where we can see there's tons of these, right? There's maybe over 100, at least probably over 50 different data packs that we can download and install here. For this, we're going to go ahead and grab Graves. We're also going to grab the Coordinates HUD, and we're going to grab from the Mob section Anti-Creeper Grief. You can just select any of these that you want, for example, and it just, it just works. However, we've got R3 selected. Let's go ahead and click on Download on the right-hand side. This kind of thing is up to Add Focus. On Add Focus, stop. Don't click anything on this page. Just put your hands in the air whenever you get to add focus and wait about 10 seconds after about 10 seconds click the red skip button that appears in the top right then in the bottom left it will start downloading vanilla tweaks right like so you're good to go however we also wanted mob heads and of course that takes you to curse Forge, where on the right hand side we can scroll down to the 1.19 section and click on the orange download button here then it will begin after a few seconds however while that's downloading have a smart sponsor apex minecraft hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server we love just apex so much that we host every single minecraft server we have on apex minecraft hosting and if you want to start a server with mods or plugins or anything like that apex is here to help with not only guides on how to do all of that on their servers, but one click installation of over 200 mod packs. Last but not least, Apex has 24 hours, 7 day a week support, so if you have any issues, you can get some help. But nevertheless, you can check out Apex in the first link down below the breakdown to xyc slash Apex to start very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, as you can see, all the mob heads has downloaded in the bottom left. We go ahead and minimize our browser here. I recommend moving all these from your downloads folder to your desktop, because sometimes you need to unzip them. You'll see what I mean here in a second. So, to move these to your desktop, click the little Windows icon, top left to my screen, bottom of your screen or bottom of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, except I don't have a downloads file folder. Don't know why, it just disappeared on me. I do have the file explorer, so let's go ahead and open that up. And then under this PC on the left hand side, we can see there is a downloads folder. Click on that and there are our data packs. Let's go ahead and move these to our desktop. Now, like I said, sometimes these need to be what we call extracted or unzipped. All the mobs is fine. Vanilla Tweaks, though, if we click on it here, we can see that, sure enough, it does say Unzip Me. So we're going to go ahead and right-click and click Extract All and then click Extract to unzip these. Now, we're still not done just yet because data packs actually need to be zip files. So if we open up this folder that's created, we have all of the data packs we wanted right here, and we can finally move these to our desktop where we can kind of organize them to get them installed. So we finally have our Graves, Coordinates HUD, and Anti-Creeper Grief, as well as all mob heads data packs. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.19.3, and then once we're in game, you're gonna, not in game, but in the Minecraft main menu and on the Minecraft main menu, it's actually incredibly easy to install data packs to existing worlds and to new world. I'm going to show you how to do both. I'll meet you on the main menu. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. Now let's say we wanted to add this to an existing world. Well, we would go into single player here and then we would just select the world. Don't click play on it. Just click on it one time. Then in the bottom, we want to hit edit and then we want to hit open world folder. It's going to open up this world's world folder. This is where all the data for the world is held. And in here, there's a data packs folder. Open that up and drag and drop all of your data packs into the world's folder, right like so. Then close out of this, click save, and log right on in to the world. Your data packs will now be active, except you may need to run a quick command to really activate them. What is that command? Well, as you can see, I've already got one active here because this is actually a test world, but nevertheless, let's go and do slash reload in game. That's going to reload everything, and as you can see, all mob heads is installed. Not every data pack will have a, a pop-up like that, by the way, so don't freak out if it doesn't. However, in some cases, you won't be able to run the slash reload command. If that's the case, go ahead and hit escape, click open land world, and in this, make sure cheats are turned on. Game mode doesn't matter, and then click start land world. 
Now at this point, you'll be able to run slash reload because you enabled cheats. And next time you log in, they actually won't be enabled. So good job there. Nevertheless, what if we want to add these to a new world? Well, let's go ahead and do that really quickly. And then I'll show you that these are working in game as well. So we'll go ahead and create a new world and we'll title this data packs. I will need to go re-download these really fast. There we go. As we can see, they are now re-downloaded and we can go ahead and enable cheats on this world just so we don't have to do that whole land thing once we get in game. Now, there is this data packs option here. Now, if we click on this, there's actually the 1.20 data packs and you can enable these but you can also click the open pack folder button in the bottom here and move data packs into this folder when you do that they'll appear in game so as you can see we have all mob heads anti-creeper grief coordinates hud and graves we can move all of these over we can also like i said enable those experimental data packs but we can click done it's going to kind of load them in and then we can click create and it's now going to log us right on in with our data packs installed from the beginning this is great if you have a world generation data pack a data pack that changes what generation in the world. For example, there's some that add in different villages and structures and things like that, and that's how you can add that from the beginning. But nevertheless, now, if we do that slash reload, we'll be able to see that all the mob heads is installed. Um, the easiest way to show you this is actually to go into the advancements here, where we have a mob heads advancement. Well, at least we should. Where is it at? Hold on. There it is at the top. I don't know why this isn't a player head. This freaked me out. But here you can see all of the different mob heads that you can get. There's tons of them, and there's progression in order to get them. But nevertheless, it also kind of think tells you the different percentages and all that stuff. But nevertheless, we also have vanilla tweaks here. We have coordinates HUD, we have anti-creeper grief, and we have graves. Now, to activate coordinates HUD, for example, we actually have to run a command. And that command is slash trigger, which you'll see a lot of data packs use. And then ch toggle. And boom, there we go. We have the coordinates HUD enabled. It gives us the world time. It also gives us our X, Y, Z coordinates. For gravestones, this is a bit... Um, well, it, it, it's a bit more gruesome. We're going to have to, unfortunately, fall to our death in order to get this to work. So let's go up here to... I don't know, pretty high up in the air. And then we'll fall down and we should see a gravestone up here. Great, delete that, go back into survival, and bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Now, there might actually not be a gravestone because it didn't have anything in my inventory, but we did get a player head, which is showing that mob heads work. And now that we have a player head, we should be able to do this again and get a gravestone. That is something I did forget that you must have items in your inventory because you can actually recover those from the gravestone. But here we are, we have now got a gravestone. Awesome stuff. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but you now know how to install data packs in Minecraft 1.19. Dot three. Whether it's a new world or an existing world, it has all been covered, and this is actually a pretty cool, pretty cool spawn area for this seed. No good seed shall be left uncovered, so there it is. But we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And by the way, check out the video on your screen right now, which is how to change your Minecraft skin in 1.19.3. If you want a new uh, custom skin like the one that I have here, look at that. It's a custom skin. It looks really good. If you want something like this or something that is made yourself, you can actually make your own skin, and we kind of cover that in that video. So go check it out, how to change your skin in 1.19.3, but we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.